hello learners in this tutorial i'm going to explain how to uh, execute if then else if statement in the oracle 90c database using plsql first we will see what is uh, if then else if statement so i have created the presentations for you so if you go to the next slide uh, the if then else statement allows you to choose between several alternatives and if then statement can be followed by an optional else if else statement the else if clause let you add additional conditions when using if then else if statement there are few points to keep in mind the first one is it's el else if not else if uh, you can see the uh, difference else if and el uh, it is two different uh, keywords and if then statement can have zero or one else and it must come after any else if and if then a statement can have zero to many else and they must come before the else once else if succeeds none of the remaining else or else uh, will be tested okay so that is the the definitions and the key uh, areas we need to uh, identify when we implement the if then else if statement then we will see the syntax uh, of the if then else if uh, statement you can see uh, uh, if boolean expressions there's a x uh, condition then uh, if the uh, uh, s1 executes when the boolean expression is true after that what happened there is another boolean uh, expressions too uh, x, s2 uh, executes when the boolean expression is expressions two, 2 is true then the uh, there's another boolean expression so it is three uh, if the uh, boolean expression is three uh, uh, through then execute the uh, s3 uh, likewise uh, at the end you can see uh, s4 executes when the none of the above condition is true so likewise uh, uh, you can define your if then else if statement in your plsql block uh, so uh, now uh, uh, we will see uh, how to implement, uh, uh, how to uh, uh, write that uh, if then sta else statement in your SQL developer. So uh, uh, for that actually I have used Oracle 19C database. I have installed that database in my uh, local uh, laptop, so desktop. So uh, now I will show you how to connect to the, connect to my uh, system schema user. For that you have to click on this uh, system uh, connection already i have created uh, so if you uh, haven't created that uh, connections name you can include these uh, informations to get that information i right click on that connection and go uh, go to the properties uh, menu then you can see uh, it will open my connection details so i have given the connection name as system my username also the system and i have already given the password and uh, host name is localhost i have installed that oracle database in my localhost and default port is 1521 and default sid or database name is orcl so if i uh, click on this test button you can see uh that uh, status is success it means successfully i can connect to my uh, oracle database using system schema user then i can connect uh, to my uh, database using system schema okay uh, so uh, already uh, now uh, we have uh, yeah now we have connect to our uh, uh, oracle 19c database uh, to explain that uh, if then else if statement i have uh, uh, created a, i have uh, written a, a separate uh, example for you so i will copy and paste that plsql block into my uh, sql worksheet in the sql uh, developer so i copy paste that one now uh, i will explain one by one uh, in the plsql block so uh, in the uh, initial uh, video the hello world example uh, i have uh, explained the uh, 
three main sections in the PLSQL code. One is declaration sections, uh, execution sections, and the exception section. So in the declaration sections, we have defined a variable called A. Uh, data type is number, and uh, we have assigned value which is hundred. So in the declaration sections, we have uh, defined that declare that variable. So in the execution sections, we have start with the begin statement. In the begin statement you can see there is a one uh, first boolean expression is a equal to 10 then uh, dbms output line output dot put line value of a is 10 so according to this condition this value is this condition is false then it will not print this line so anyway after that what happened uh, it will check second boolean expressions the boolean expression is a equal to 20 so uh, that's again uh, false then what happened after that there's a, another dbms output line but it is not executing the reason for that is this condition is false then it will move to the next boolean expression uh, condition is again false then this will not execute then else you can see none of the uh, in the else sections you can see uh, there's a dbms output uh, it's a uh, all none of the values is matching then at the end you can see uh, we have printed the exact value of a is should be 100 so likewise uh, i can explain that uh, plsql block now we will see how to execute this one so normally uh, to execute that plsql block you have to open your dbms output so already i have opened that dbms output so uh, anyway before that i will uh, show the uh, the output of plsql block to execute i select this code and click on this run statement button so uh, i click on that then you can see uh, the plsql procedure successfully completed but you can see exact output uh, has not displayed the reason for that is even if we open the dbms output we haven't connect to our system connections so uh, first we have to connect to our system uh, connection so uh, for to connect we have to click on this uh, enable dbms output for connection so click on this then i have to select my connection name which is system so click on that now already i have connected again uh, we have to click on this uh, run statement button so now you can see none of the uh, the plsql procedure successfully completed and my output is uh, uh, none of the values is matching exact value of a is 100 this is the output now we will uh, i will do some small modifications for this plsql block uh, what I uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the second uh, boolean expressions value uh, 20 into 100 so then what will happen uh, definitely this uh, condition is false this but this condition is true then it will print uh, this value and uh, likewise uh, it will get the output anyway now we will see our output okay uh, i will execute this one now you can see you can see this line this output has executed and this else part is not printing the reason for that is in the if else if statement this value this condition is true so directly it will exit from this else uh, if else statement and at the end uh, it will print this line so this is the uh, example for the uh, plsql if, uh, if else if statement so i think you have clear understanding about that still if you have any issues with this uh, if else statement you can comment on the comment sections and uh, if you have any issues related to if statement if else or if else then you can refer my previous videos thank you